You just can't walk in here and start throwing around those kind of accusations. What I'm doing is asking questions, and I'm sorry, Mr Palmer, but that's my job. Well, what sort of idiot do you think the boy is to do something like that? Tell her, Trey, it didn't happen. I had nothing to do with the car accident, I swear. You were seen at the party with a slingshot. Well, whoever's telling you that's making it up. Dad's right. I have no idea what you're talking about. Under his bed. I found that on my way to the beach party. I, d I just brought it home. And you expect us to believe that? It's not mine. I was going to bring it down to the station. I, I was going to hand it in. Right, and you just didn't get around to it. Or well, better still, that's a complete fabrication. No. No way. Right, so you found the slingshot on the way to the party, you brought it home, and you didn't use it at all. That's what he just said. Thanks, Mr Palmer. I'm talking to your son. Trey, is that how it went? Yep. You didn't have a go at it? No. So you didn't take it up to the high school with a gang of mates and you didn't start using it to break windows? No. Look, Trey, we've spoken to your mate Corey and he's admitted that you were the ones that broke the windows. Just tell the truth, son. All right. OK, we went up to the school, but we were just mucking around. And when you took a shot at the car, were you mucking around then too? I told you that wasn't me, I swear it. I found the slingshot at the beach near the party and whoever it belongs to must have fired it at the car and then dumped it there. Where were you at 8.30 on the night of the party? I, I don't know. Would a trip to the station help jog your memory? Is that when the accident happened? Just to answer the question, Trey. Where were you? Okay. I was right here. And I've got someone who can back me up on that. Hugo knows I was at the party. Which means Charlie dropped you right in it. Well, on behalf of my sister, I apologise, but at least they got some evidence against Trey. What? Well, him and his stupid mates went to the school that night and smashed a whole heap of windows with, yeah, you guessed it, a slingshot. They didn't say anything about Roman's accident, but they must have gone straight to the school after the car crash. Just because they did one doesn't mean they did both. Come on, Xavier, it would be a pretty big coincidence if they didn't. Yeah, it looks bad, hey? Trey thinks he can do whatever he wants. He could have killed Roman and all he cares about is saving his own skin. He deserves everything he gets. Yeah, if he did it. <laughs> Xavier, after what he said to Brennan yesterday and the way he's been hassling Jai... Yeah, he had no right to call Brennan a freak. No, he doesn't. It just goes to prove what a low life he really is. Look, I better go check on Brennan. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking so loud. It's cool. Oh, hell no! What? What's wrong? He's taking off again. Come on. Bandicoot, come on. You're going to hurt yourself. No, jail. Jail? It's OK. No one's going to take you anywhere. Why does he think he's going to jail? Look, he's just a bit scared. When your sister came around this morning, he saw the uniforms and he freaks over stuff. You can't predict it. You know, you guys aren't exactly helping. Come on, dude. Just calm down. It's going to be OK. I won't let anything happen to you, I promise. What's going on? What's he doing up there? He's upset. He won't come down till he's ready. Last time we did this, it took 12 hours. Mate, if he falls, he could break his flaming neck. It's awful watching Leah go through all this and not being able to help her. I'm sure you are helping. I feel like I am. What about you? How are you holding up? I'm just exhausted. Mate, you better get outside quick, smart. Why? What's happened? Well, your brother's got himself into a bit of strife. Oh, God, what now? Uh, seriously, guys, I can handle this. Your brother's going to hurt himself. But you guys being here is just going to make things worse. Look, it's the uniforms. They sent him off this morning. He thinks he's in trouble. That's why he's up there in the first well, place. Why would he think he's in trouble? Oh, well, you know, he's seen it on TV. All right, well, let me call the fire brigade. They can bring a ladder. Charlie, it's cool, OK? Just just let me deal. Oh, here we go. Great. The more people are here, the more they're just going to freak him out. How did this happen? Brendan! You OK, mate? Brendan? Brendan, can you hear me? You come on. Can you hear Brendan. me, mate? Can you come on? Oh, he's lucky. Just a couple of bruises. Oh, Brendan, Clow, hi. Yeah, I know, mate. You could have been really badly hurt. Brennan fell, baby. <laughs> Did you ever? 
Look, Hugo's right. You could have killed yourself, you goose. I'm in jail. Mate, we told you, Charlie's a friend. She was just talking to Xavier. Nothing to do with you. Shh. Want a drink, Bandicoot? Look, I'll get you a drink, OK? Mm. about the accident and we're narrowing down the suspects. Oh, that's great. Do you know who they might be? We're still investigating, but Trey Palmer was seen the night it happened with a slingshot. Really? Trey caused the accident? Well, he says he's got an alibi. That's why we're here. At 8.30 on the night of the accident, Trey claimed he was with you, Kirsty. <laughs> 